Let us look at another example of forecasting using Holt's double exponential smoothing or trend adjusted exponential smoothing method. Using the following data, calculate the trend adjusted forecast. So we have been given the demand for 10 weeks. Now this is the actual demand in terms of units. Also, we have been given that the forecast for first week is 208 units. The trend for first week is 0. And smoothing constant alpha is 0.2 while smoothing constant beta is 0.1. So using this information, let us try to find the trend adjusted forecast. So this is the information that has been provided to us. We have week 1 through 10. We have been provided the actual demand. And for the first week, we have been provided the forecast. We have also been provided the values of alpha and beta. And these are the formulas to find out the forecast, trend, and then when we add these two up, we'll find the forecast including trend for that period. So let's start with week number two. First, let's find out the forecast for period two. So this is forecast including trend for the last period, which is 208 plus alpha, which is 0.2 into bracket the actuals for the last period, which is 213 minus the forecast including trend for the last period, which is 208. So this is equal to 208 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 213 minus 208, which is 5. This is equal to 208 plus 5 to the 10 and one decimal point, so 1. And this is equal to 209. Now let's find out the trend for week number two. So trend for the last period has been given as zero. So zero plus beta is 0.1, 0 0.1 into bracket. The forecast for the same period, which is 209 minus forecast including trend for the last period, which is 208. So this is equal to 209 minus 208 is 1. 1 multiplied by 0 0.1 is 0 0.1. So the forecast for 209 plus 208 is 209 which is equal to 209.1. So let's note this down. So for week number 2 the forecast including trend is 209.1 the forecast we found was 209 and trend was 0 0.1 now let's find out for the third week so week number 3 forecast is equal to forecast including trend for the last period which is week number 2 which is 209.1 plus alpha which is 0.2 into bracket actuals for the last period which is 201 minus forecast including trend for the last period which is 209.1 so this is equal to 209.1 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by minus 8.1 so 209.1 minus 1.62 and this is equal to 207.48 so the forecast 
without trend is 207.48 let's find out the trend trend for the last period which is 0.1 plus beta which is 0.1 into bracket forecast for the same period which is 207.48 minus forecast including trend for the last period which is 209.1 so this is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by minus 1.62 so this is equal to minus 0 0.062 so the total forecast including trend is equal to 207.48 minus 0 0.062 and this is equal to 207.41 so the trend was minus 0 0.062 and the forecast including trend is 207.41 we'll make it to one decimal point so 207.4 so forecast including trend for third week is 207.4 now let's move to week number four so for week number four i'll use my calculator now let's understand the rhythm here so that we can calculate this quickly. So the forecast without trend is forecast including trend for the last period. So this number 27.4 plus alpha which is 0.2 and into brackets the actual minus the forecast including trend. So repeating again. So forecast without trend is equal to the forecast including trend for the last period plus alpha into bracket actual minus the forecast including trend. So let's find that out for week number four. So forecast including trend for the last period 207.4 plus alpha which is 0.2 into brackets the actual which is 198 minus the forecast including trend which is 207.4 so this is equal to 205.52 we'll note this down in terms of one decimal point so 205.5 now similarly let's find out the trend so the trend is equal to the trend for the last period which is minus 0 0.062 plus beta into bracket the forecast that we had found for the current period minus the forecast including trend for the last period so let's calculate that so trend for the last period which is point 0 0.062 and this is minus plus beta which is 0 0.1 multiplied by into bracket the forecast for the current period which is 205.5 minus the forecast including trend for the last period which is 207.4 so this is minus 0 0.252 now we have to calculate the forecast including trend so plus 205.5 so that is 205.248 so let's round it up to one decimal so this will become 205.3 so because this is 8 this will become 5 and this is 5 becomes 3 so 205.3 now let's do the same thing for the next period which is week number 5 again we'll find out the forecast without trend first so that is forecast including trend 
for the last period which is 205.3 plus alpha which is 0.2 multiplied by into bracket the actual for the last period which is 207 minus the forecast including trend for the last period which is 205.3 and this is 205.64 so this is 205.6 now let's find out the trend so trend for the last period which is 0.252 and this is minus plus beta which is 0 0.1 into brackets forecast for the same period which is 205.6 minus forecast including trend for the last period which is 205.3 minus 0.222 so minus 0 0.222 and then the forecast including trend for week number 5 will be we'll add 205.6 to this so 205.378 so 205.378 or we can round it up to one decimal so it becomes 205.4 so let me make that change so 205.4 now let's move to week number six. So forecast without trend that is equal to the forecast including trend for the last period which is 205.4 plus alpha which is 0.2 multiplied by into brackets the actual for week number five which is 220 minus the forecast including trend for the last period which is 205.4 this is 208.32 so 208.3 let's now find out the trend so trend for the last period is 0.222 minus and then plus beta which is 0.1 multiplied by into bracket the forecast without trend which is 208.3 minus forecast including trend for the last period which is 205.4 bracket closed this is 0 0.068 so this is 0 0.068 and let's find out the forecast including trend for week number six so this plus 208 0.3 so this is 208.368 we can make it 4 let's proceed to the next week which is week number 7 so forecast without trend is equal to the forecast including trend for the last period which is 208.4 plus alpha which is 0.2 multiplied by into bracket the actual for the last period which is 232 minus the forecast including trend for the last period which is 208.4 brackets closed and this is 213.12 so 213.1 let's calculate the trend so trend is equal to the trend for the last period which is 0 0.068 plus beta which is 0 0.1 multiplied by into bracket forecast for the current period without trend which is 213.1 minus forecast including trend for the last period which is 208.4 this is 0 0.538 0 0.538 and we'll find the total forecast including trend for week number 7 so 0.538 plus 213.1 so this is 213.638 213.638 
6. So I hope now you have got the rhythm of how to calculate quickly if such an example has to be solved in order to find the forecast including trend. So this way you can continue calculating the remaining forecasts.